morning guys welcome back to another week in my life vlog it is monday morning i'm gonna get started with a workout i think i might get the habits tracker and get some habits going this week i feel like i already have them but i want to track them still thinking about getting an apple watch this weekend was a really good weekend my cousin was in town so it was my siblings and two of my cousins <gasps> coco no i hosted family dinner here last night just a really good time gonna go take the dogs on a walk do 12 3 30 have an energy drink I will catch up with you guys after. I have work getting done in my house at nine. But yeah. Oh, also, I wanted to show you guys these shorts. Forgot that's why I'm vlogging. These shorts are the Lulu Align dupes. I've already shared with you guys the legging dupes. I already love the Lulu Align leggings. I wear them all the time. They've been like lifelong faves of mine. They feel like butter on you. They're just like so comfortable, normal, um, like biker shorts, but they feel just like the Align ones, and I think they're like 20 bucks. I'll have them linked below. But I'm going to get them in every color. I have navy blue. Um, and I just am obsessed with them. Like, I'm literally going to wear them every single day. I want to take a quick break to talk to you about the sponsor of today's video, Curology. I am their biggest fan. I've gotten so many friends in real life hooked on them, like guy friends at this point. Even Dom uses Curology, and it's, like, our favorite skincare. So, if you guys are unaware, Curology creates custom skincare for you. You go online, you take a little quiz. It doesn't take long at all, and they have dermatology providers on the site that you can connect with. So, then you end up getting a custom formula. As you see, it says my name on it. I use a cleanser morning and night. I use my moisturizer, and then I use this at night. Okay, so this thing is next level. My skin is literally completely clear, and it also um, helps with like, the texture and the tone for me. Just washed my face, I'm putting on the moisturizer, but if you guys want, you guys can get the first month free. All you do is pay for shipping and handling, which is $4.95. I will have it linked below. Like, I cannot describe to you how incredible my skin looks and feels. I talk about Curology even in videos if they're not sponsored. You guys know that I love them. I will have everything linked down below. Thank you to Curology for sponsoring today's video. Literally got my nails done like three days ago. Happy Monday, everyone. Again, I finished my workout. I just showered. I got ready. So I am currently listening to an MLF podcast. I'm making some breakfast. I have my Monday morning call for the week in like 10 minutes that I need to be ready for. By the way, this toaster oven air fryer, you can't even see it because my nail actually hurts. But this thing, it's so good. It looks so much better than an air fryer on your counter. And it also helps with space because I don't have to have a toaster and an air fryer. Um, so I love that. I love my hydro junk at my sibling's house, both of them. And it's really ruining my life. I don't even think I want coffee right now. I don't know what I want, guys. So today on the agenda, Dom and I are working on some stuff. We're also filming a video for my channel. I need to get some computer work done until then. Um, and just like plan some episodes and stuff. I have a big recording day tomorrow. This is gonna be like a work week in my life. I really tried to not work on the weekends, but yesterday I ended up working like honestly for probably like six hours on a Sunday, which I tried to not do. I have so many avocados right now. Okay, this is not the avocado that I want. This is a really like brand deal heavy week. I think like 10 deals that I need to shoot and send in this week. So I have a lot of filming, I have a lot of shooting. <sighs> yeah, that's, that's what we're doing guys. It's gonna be good. Now I have to get my nail fixed. I'm gonna read some best how you see you. I'm going through, I've already planned out my day, but I'm gonna write it out because for some reason that helps me. So I'm using the Daily Agenda by Mantra Sundays. I really like this one because it's hourly and that's what I need. I normally do this the night before, but I already did this on my Google Calendar. So I'm basically just transferring it because for some reason it helps me. I don't know. They don't deal with the whole origin story. Yeah, they're in this way. Your I normally work right here. This is like the best lighting in my house. So I really like working here. Monday mornings at 10 a.m. I have a call with Carly who runs the podcast Instagram, edits some of my videos, edits the podcast YouTube channel. So if you haven't seen that, we've been uploading a lot of the podcast, actually the video of it to YouTube. So you guys can go check that out. I have the channel linked below. Anyways, it's 10 a.m. So I'm going to call her. Hi. I'm off my call right now. I'm currently listening to an Ed Milet podcast. I love Ed Milet's podcast, especially on a Monday morning when you need like a little bit more motivation. 
but I actually am gonna listen to a few episodes with guests that I'm having on my podcast this week. I like doing this just to get more of a feel if I haven't met them and to make sure I'm not asking them the exact same questions that everyone else is asking them. So this week I'm having Dr. Will Cole on and Jason Reed. So I'm trying to figure out like what route I wanna do. I post some Instagram stories. Um, to see what you guys want to hear from them. I'm gonna do that and make my outlines for the episodes. I'm about to wake up Dom, it is noon, but something that I really try to do, it's something I learned from Ed Milet, and I don't do it to the T of like what he does, but he splits his days into three parts, so he basically gets three days in one. Anyways, today is a filming day. We are filming a cooking with Kenzie video. Also, oh, by the time this vlog goes up, you guys already know about our live show, but this will be the first time talking about it. So when Dom gets in the car, we will talk about it. It's a virtual live show, but we would love for all of you guys to come. And if this does well, then maybe post COVID, we can actually do live shows. So essentially we really need this to do very well um, to make our dreams come true. I haven't been wearing this bag with the strap. I've been using this strap lately, but uh, I guess this is what we're doing today. In my outfit, I just have some girlfriend denim on. This is, I like these jeans because they have this like line back here. I don't know, a little bit different. This is Revolve, White Fox. I feel weird wearing my purse like this actually, but oh, really trashed Air Forces. I was just saying I'm really depressed today, so when you said you didn't have oat milk, it just made me a little more sad. Oh no, well that's not good. Yeah, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. We love you. He like doesn't get it. He doesn't yeah, get it. Like, like me. it's not the one that like thinks we're funny. I think he thinks we're funny, but I don't I mean, think he it's gets it. Hurtful when people don't think I'm funny because like that's all I have to give. I think it's more of a reflection on them than you. Like they don't get it. You know when people are like, why is it that I'm too much and you're not? And why isn't it you're not enough? Just think about it that way. They're like, get these girls out of here. Who talks about the oat milk? God, oh, she thinks she's that's funny. what I was gonna say, guys. Have you seen TikTok oat milk Starbucks shortage? Wait, Starbucks shortage? No. Oat milk Starbucks. St are you okay? <laughs> you, are you on the side of TikTok yet, where they're talking about how no Starbucks have oat milk? No. Oh, I think Emily June started it. I think she started it too. Emily June starts a lot of things. She really does. I'm gonna say I want to apologize to the man who took my order. Thank you. Thank you. To the person who took my order, tell them I was just messing around. Like I'm not. Okay. Oh, I was just joking about the oat milk. She was causing drama. Oh, you're the depressed one. Yeah, but I was joking. I was joking. Okay. We got it. Okay. Take care. <laughs> <laughs> you're the depressed one. <laughs> Dom, you're the depressed you're, oh, one. Oh, you're the depressed one? Yes, you I am. Tweet, I just went to the Starbucks drive-thru and they literally go, oh, you're, you're the, the depressed, depressed one. one. Dom and I are in the middle of filming a video, but we decided that we needed to take a field trip because we saw that the real real opened on Knox Henderson. Also, this is our new beautiful restoration hardware where I will be working every single day. And this is beautiful. Very happy to see, very happy to hear. Yes, big things happening. Beautiful. This is good for selling bags. I think I'll be have one now. We heard y'all love luxury dollars. We do. We love you, the real real. We do. Dom and I just want to go check out the construction, just see what the update is here, really. I mean, it looks relatively done to me, yeah. so. They're really putting in work Yeah, there. they really are. Guys, so beautiful. This is where I'm going to be like every day. Oh, look at the Yeti. Oh, yeah, that's been there for a bit. Do you need to go? No. I feel like that's like where all the frat boys are gonna be. We can pick you up a cool man. Enough, enough. I hate you. <laughs> it's 4.05 on a Monday afternoon and I have, oh my God, and crank that by Soldier Boy is playing, guys. Just finished filming. Cleaning this up, I'm gonna drop Dom off. I'm gonna drop off leftovers from family dinner last night that I made my sister didn't show for. Um, cause she wants pasta I have some leftovers, so I'm gonna give it to her for dinner. And, yeah, I don't know guys, I'm really tired. I wasn't really in a filming mood today, but we like had to get this video sent and it's still a great video. Stay tuned everyone! I'm gonna drop them off and then I'm probably gonna go on like a walk or something, and then I have plans with my cousin. I'm back home, I'm really excited because my Skinny Confidential Hot Mess Roller came in the mail. It literally looks like a vintage like, Barbie box. It is so cute. I'm so excited. So like obviously I'm not gonna do it right now, but this thing is massive. Normally I have ice rollers and they're just not really great. I mean, I love what they do, but the actual tool itself is always kind of cheap. This just feels like so good. Even the thumbprint holder, 
I mean, wow, apparently this stays cold for like so long too. This is very exciting, like very, very exciting. To end off my day, I have about an hour left of computer work, I wanna say. And then I'm gonna take a nice shower, a nice little relaxing time. And then Alyssa is coming over and bringing ramen for dinner for us. Guys, I don't know if you can even tell. Okay, actually, yes, you can. Look, I got lights from Amazon that are like $20, and you just like attach them below, right? Okay, let me show you the difference. It looks, I feel rich now. I don't know why. Alyssa, look at the difference, okay? Off, right? Okay. And I'll do off over here. This is here, by the way, guys. Um, you see that? Yes. That's the before. Ooh. Wow. Yeah. Doesn't it look rich? Yeah. And then, you know, I say that as my outlets still are not covered. Yeah. It's fine. So, oh. Oh. What did I do? Oh. Wow. Yeah, so I'm going to get more over there, but it makes a very big difference. Especially at night, I can only imagine how much cozier this is. I mean, I'm really happy about it. Oh, my so, God. So many so many things. And here we are. Back wow. To Wobby house. Back to your regular scheduled programming. And we're watching, we're starting a new show yep. tonight. Wow. Fitz is yeah. ready. Hi, bud. Hi. Hi. Hi, good morning. What did you eat, dude? Good morning, Coco. Oh, good morning. You're so cute. You're so cute. Happy. Oh my god, it's cold right now, guys. Woo. Update. I used this last night and I loved it. Good morning, everyone. It is Tuesday morning. I am recording three episodes today and then I think I have three meetings. And then I need to do probably like two or three hours of computer work and stuff to my editor, things like that. Actually, I'm recording four episodes today. So anyways, happy Tuesday everyone. I'm rolling out my face with my Skinny Confidential Ice Roller. I'm gonna go to a Sculpt and Restore class. So it's like a Pilates class. I have not gone really at all to workout classes since COVID, obviously. I, I just got used to working out at my house too. And like I have a gym here and I was doing Pilates on Zoom. But I felt like going today in person and treating myself. So that is what I'm doing. This just feels so incredible. She doesn't even do anything, I don't think, but. Anyways, Tuesdays are normally podcast days for me. So I'll record um, for my own probably a couple episodes and then sometimes I'll do other people's. I try to keep meetings on Tuesdays and Wednesdays, um, which like really doesn't always work out in my favor, but. Wow, and my skin feels incredible. Great, I'm gonna leave this thing out. She says that you can leave it out and it's still cold for like, a long time. So I want to just test that because it's freezing right now. I'll keep you guys posted. I haven't gotten my nail fixed, but it is what it is. Get a journal this morning, do a little Devo situation. Also, like I really don't like this journal, like the look of it. I need new ones. Where do you guys get your journals that I would like? I'm very picky. I want like neutral, mature, sleek looking ones. I really don't like this one, but it's just what I have and I'm finishing it. I'm on my way to Pilates. I'm actually so excited. Something that's really good when I work from home specifically is like getting out in the morning if I'm obviously just gonna be working from home all day. I like getting out of my house and most of the time that's just like a morning walk with the dogs. But I was really feeling a Pilates class today, so. Also, these protein bars from Milani New are so good. I forgot that I had them in my pantry, so I've been eating them the past few days and they are Bomb. Oh, I should have, dang it. I should have grabbed an energy drink. They're Tropsicle energy drinks. That's the one I've been drinking lately. So good, it's like not even funny. If you live in Dallas and you have a favorite workout class, comment below and let me know what it is. I'm very picky, but I need some more. My favorite studio in Dallas is definitely Class Studios. There's two of them. Um, and if you want to go to the Sculpt class, which is what I'm doing, you have to go to Lutheran Lane. But I love the spin, which is at West Village. And they have a Beyonce versus Britney themed ride tonight, which like took everything in me to not book that one instead. But I really wanted Pilates today. So, anyways, I'm going to finish listening to my Ed My Leg, Dr. Caroline Leaf podcast, and get to my workout. And I'm just so excited for when I leave my workout, and I just feel incredible. Thank you. All right, guys, ignore the horn that is going off non-stop i just got off of two recordings the first one was with jason reed which is i feel like i need to give like a little bit of a trigger warning for the next like 10 seconds but 
he lost his son to suicide and we talk all about that and like teenage mental health and it was just a great episode and then i recorded with dr will cole he is um he was on goop podcast for a while he had his own shows you know he has his own show now but he was like on other shows you probably recognize him from being like Gwyneth's basically like health coach i think is like his official title i know these things can be um sort of looking for like controversial especially with health things but one with the show this is actually something i've been wanting to talk about for a while because i will get attacked for like random guests and stuff okay here's the thing about having a show or a podcast i love shows that have different people on from different perspectives i never want i completely agree with lauren everett's about this or bostick i don't want all my friends to think the same way as me to like view everything the same way i think that's how you grow and even if you don't agree with someone i think it's really cool to like hear them out and even just gain perspective even if you continue to not agree with them you're with a mom who's very into functional medicine so um that's just all i'm gonna say about that just think in general in my life i don't want to only surround myself with people who think the same way as me um and the second thing with that is that how boring would the show be if i only brought on people who think the exact same way as me you know what i mean i don't know at all you know what i mean so i just like learning and i like hearing people from different perspectives and if that is one episode isn't up your alley like totally fine that's totally cool i do want to run my labs with dr will and just get stuff done i've been wanting to get my labs run with a functional doctor for like honestly probably like three years and even yesterday i called my mom and i was like there's just something off with me i need to like figure this out she's like you need to go into functional medicine right now so i really want to share my journey with it and i want to be respectful in a way of i know that's not everyone's cup of tea but there are also a lot of other people who are just interested in it and i think that there can be an in-between where it's like hey if this isn't your thing i like, just don't watch the video you know what i mean trying to find that balance anyways i have a call in six minutes um, for Domini's live show, virtual live show, which now I can say that in the vlogs. We've been working on that for a while. That's what the shoot was for. By the time this video comes out, it'll be announced in the promo and whatever. I will have everything down below. Buy your tickets, guys, because if you want us to do anything fun together in the future, like an actual tour or actual live shows post-COVID, we need the stats, quite honestly, to prove that we can sell. So... But also, it's gonna be really, really fun. We're very excited. Um, we're actually shooting video content for it again this week. We've been working on it nonstop. There will be merch. Um, it's actually really cute. It looks like a tour t-shirt. It's really fun. You guys are gonna like it. So anyways, I need to put my phone on the charger. I think I'm gonna make some dinner or lunch. Just made this beautiful salad. I'm actually making a little Instagram video of what I eat in a day. But like this just, oh my God, it's so good. It's like a Melissa Wood Health inspired recipe, kind of. I mean, it's like a random salad. I just put hummus in it and Mary's crackers like hers, but it's really filling and it's really easy because I just keep everything together in the fridge. So it takes me like five minutes. All right, I'm actually in my garage. I've been working, just working on guest pitches, things like that, sending out a bunch of emails, things that you don't care about. I've actually randomly um, been on like Erica from Barstool's TikTok. So I'm watching some of her podcasts. I actually really like them. She's actually really cool doing my laundry right now and this is a work related activity because i'm filming a skims video tomorrow so i need to find all the clothes because they're all in there and fitz is here coco's here i'm also planning i have a lot of really cool guests coming onto the podcast which i'm excited about um it's 5 p.m i'm probably gonna do like another hour or so of work and then i actually really need to read for like three hours today because <laughs> I am not ahead on my reading goal. I'm, my goal for 2021 is to read 100 books. I'm at like 30. Just so you know, I have anxiety, but I'm also an Enneagram 3. I started reading because it calms my anxiety. Then I decided I'm going to read 100 books in 2021. And now the fact that I'm not two books ahead of schedule stresses me out. Here we are, everyone. Well, good morning, guys. It's 5.15 a.m. Okay, guys. It is currently 7.30. Sid came over at 6 and we worked out. I just said 12 through 30. She is off to work. I'm gonna go shower, get ready for the day. It was hard waking up, but honestly, like we had like a really deep talk in the middle of the workout. It was a great morning so far. Um, today, I have a lot of things to do. Let me let me see. I'm currently looking at Dallas tennis instructors for me and my friends. Sorry guys, my camera died, but um, I did find my Revolve leather jacket. That is my favorite leather jacket ever, and it's so expensive. If you guys watch the vlogs, you know I thought I lost it like two weeks ago. 
it was behind my chair the whole time. <laughs> Don't tell my friends they're like actually gonna murder me. I got so many calls last night when I posted it to my story. It was just, you know, it was a lot. It's me, I'm back, it's 7.30. No, why? Like, I have a frame TV, and for some reason it acts like it's not connected to the internet every day, and I have to like disconnect and reconnect it. Every time! Oh my gosh, guys. Anyways, what I'm doing tonight, honestly, I don't have my to-do list right now. My closet is so unorganized, but I'm getting my new one built next week, so I'm just like, why would I organize it? Okay, also, I'm wearing my Amazon workout set. This one is under $30. Comment below. I've been thinking about doing this video if you guys want to see an Amazon fitness phase video because I have a lot of pieces from them that are really good, and I can definitely do that for you guys. Okay, well, I need to film a few videos. I'm doing a deal with Skims, which is like probably the coolest thing that's ever happened to me. I need to film my Skims video. I have some calls. I need to edit. I need to work. I need to start writing some stuff. There's a lot going on and my dogs are not helping any of it. So what's new? Am I right? Also, by the way, I got this canopy humidifier, which honestly I ordered like two months ago and or maybe longer than that. I totally forgot I even ordered it and I really like it. Um, I've only used it one day. Here's my skims drawer. I need to get stuff out of there, but I just felt like I really needed a humidifier. So also this is like so, I don't know who messed this up, but whatever. I'm just gonna move this over here. Anyways, got some oils and stuff. I just refilled it. It's looking beautiful. What a peaceful morning I'm having. Thanks guys. I need to do my laundry. It's all right, guys, I'm ready for today. It's 9 a.m. I love the whole waking up early, really early morning workout thing. I love the whole like early morning workout. I've already listened to like three podcasts. Like I'm feeling good. Just made my go-to breakfast. This is what I have like every single morning. I'm gonna make some coffee after this. I'm listening to NPR, How I Built This. I love How I Built This. I feel like I've just had so much going on in my mind lately. So I'm trying to like get my life together. I feel like I've just kind of been all over the place, like mentally, emotionally, yeah, those two things lately. Um, and so I'm trying to get back to like my morning like rituals that I do that really help me. Um, I have a few things. I love doing like a nice little morning reading. So you can do like a Devo book. If you're not like a faith person, there's like the Daily Stoic. There's a lot of things like that. I even like just quote books and stuff. I love the emotional healthy um, day by day. That's probably my favorite one I've ever done. There's a morning and a nighttime reading. And I got what I got this one on emotionally healthy relationships. It's not like romantic, it's like just relationships as a whole. I love the normal one so much. This is it, I finished it, um, that I wanted to try this. So day one of this, also five minute journal. It's such a small thing that you don't really think is gonna make that big of a difference. And then once you do it, you just like can't stop. It's really good and why, I say that as I've been off my routine. We're getting back on it, okay? And then I'll even do like morning pages, which is where you just write for three pages straight as soon as you wake up. So I didn't do it right this morning, but it's really helpful if you have like anxiety, you wake up anxious, or if you're like, I have no idea what I'm doing with my life, like it's a good thing to do. We, we, you know, we very- Guys, I am so excited. <laughs> a lot later i've been filming for the past few hours i just got my 437 package in i got the kinsey actually ironically it's called the kinsey bikini and it's my favorite color um but the bottoms didn't come in i need to send over footage i just shoot something for puma i need to plan and record a solo episode i need to edit two videos i need to write for two hours yeah i think that's pretty much what i'm doing today so i still need to finish my coffee i made this coffee guys look at my outfit right now like this is what happens when you're filming all right, everyone, I've just been working on my computer. I made some lunch. It's the same salad. I'm going to do a reel of it, but it is so bomb. This is like my go-to everyday salad. It takes me two minutes to make, um, but I'm just editing, getting a bunch of work done, same old stuff. So now it is 2 p.m. I have calls starting at 3, but I'm actually going to record some ads and a solo podcast episode. Um, it's going to be shorter because at the end of my podcast episodes, I do one solo episode a month. But it's like half of an episode of Solo and the last half is book club. Um, this month we're reading with Lauren Elizabeth. And if you guys are ever wanting to read along with us, it's always posted to the Instagram. This was the book, The Perfect Marriage. I actually really liked it. I have a few critiques, I'm not going to lie, but I do think it was a good pick. Hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to the I Love You So Much podcast. I'm your host, Kinsey Elizabeth. <laughs> I 
document this moment really quickly because it's probably like one of the cool other coolest things that I've ever done. Um, today I filmed a skins deal and I am currently about to record an ad read for Sophia Bush's podcast. If you would have told my high school self that I would be getting paid to advertise Sophia Bush's podcast, I would have cried and I don't mean this in like a bragging way. I just mean like anything is possible. One Tree Hill was my favorite show. It's honestly to this day my favorite show. I binge watched it sophomore year of high school. I live for Sophia Bush. I love her podcast. Like this is probably like one of the coolest things ever. I just say, follow your dreams kids because this is crazy. Yeah, and then I can, um once I saw the run of show, which looks great, I obviously it can change if you want it to change. So I just finished that meeting. It was really good. We went through run of show. So that was with like part of my team and then our producer for the live show, which is very exciting with the run of show. I'm like kind of thinking we're gonna switch a few things up. I don't know. If you guys haven't bought your tickets yet, please buy them because I'm so afraid that like no one will buy them. And I know that you probably will buy them last minute if you're gonna come, but it would make me feel so much better and be able to like actually sleep through the night if you guys buy them as soon as possible. Guys, this is what Fitz does when I work. He just sleeps. I mean, he is the most handsome man. Oh, hi. Hi, cutie. Hi, cutie. Oh my gosh, you're so cute. Look at your little paw. Look at your little paw. Aren't you just the most handsome? Guys, he is so big. Like, do you understand how big that is? I cannot believe it. I'm really hungry. It's only four, but I'm like actually making dinner because I just know I'm not gonna feel like it later. I don't know, guys, weird schedule. And then I need to edit for a few hours, so. That is what is on the agenda. I'm gonna make my favorite pasta that I've been making. I have a reel about it. Okay, looks amazing. Recipes are always on my Instagram. Okay guys, it's four something, five I think. I'm gonna go take a nice little relaxing bath and then get cozy and then edit. That's how I like to edit, I like, I don't know. I don't have a really nice night to myself. Oh, I got a new journal. I know I mentioned this vlog that I really don't like the one I have and it's got like a norm normal like moleskin, which like I'm also like, okay with i fun fact guys dotted journals i realized this in college that i'm a dotted journal sort of gal um i really like it for like taking notes and stuff but anyways that is that good morning everyone today is a little bit of a slow morning if you will it's thursday it's definitely not raining but it feels like it's like a rainy morning for some reason happy thursday morning everyone i was supposed to go to um a, like 7 a.m spin class but honestly like i woke up I was so sore, I've been working out so much, and I just, it wasn't gonna happen today. I might work out later, but if I wanna take the day off, I don't care. I'm gonna make some breakfast. I need to get um, kind of started on my day. Off to make coffee we go, everyone. I'm wearing Twin Flames, so cute. Oh, oh. Are you kidding me? What was I thinking? Okay, dogs. All for, there wasn't even a pod in here. Okay, so that was glass. What a good start to my morning, everyone. Oh my gosh, today we're announcing the live show, which is exciting. So this morning I'm gonna do some work on our live show. I'm gonna edit a video to send in. I have therapy at one. Um, Thursdays are always like kind of more random days. And then tomorrow is a filming day, which I'm not going to end up vlogging tomorrow just because we're going to be filming probably like eight hours. So there's really no point in me vlogging the day. And that content you guys will see if you go on our live show. We're doing like um, house tours. We're do I, I don't want to give it all away right now, but we're doing some cool stuff. And, and so, okay, so Julie, you, you can't come up with all right guys, I just got ready for today. I'm like so weird about getting ready because later I'm working out and then I have a dinner tonight and I just know I have to get ready again. So normally I just like wouldn't get ready earlier. I don't know. Are you guys like this? This is a really casual outfit. Um, my closet, like I said, is so unorganized so I can't really find any cute clothes that I really want to wear until it is set up because I'm just refusing to go through it until my new closet is set up hopefully next week. But this bodysuit is misguided. I just got it. I just thought it was super cute, cozy. It's actually kind of cold today. 
I don't know what's going on. Um, my favorite jeans from Princess Polly and then just white docks and that is the look. Okay, we have 35 minutes until we announce the show. So I need to be at my computer. I have like a few things I need to do before that. It's very, very exciting everyone. We are posting right now, which is very exciting. I'm having some technical difficulties, but what's new? Guys, this is so exciting. Dom and, okay, hi guys, Dom and I can't wait to see you there. Ah! We did a recreation of the bestie video. It's just so good. It is just so good. It's 1 p.m., I'm off to therapy, we've announced. It's going great. You guys are being so nice in the comments. Oh, I have a candle burning. <laughs> um, so when I get back, Dom and I actually are shooting a few videos for the tour today. We moved a little bit up because I'm supposed to have like a furniture delivery tomorrow. I have to shoot for Puma, um, and then I need to just do other work that like no one cares about. Off to therapy, everyone. I need a snack. Okay. Happens to be black, and he just happens <laughs> to, to be, be white. Like he happens to be white, like. We're ah. listening to Jack Harlow. That's who Tom is talking about. He's so hot. Like, I'm not kidding. Like, like, I swear, it's the it was the fight and then seeing Pete Davidson and Jack Harlow. Kenzie, you 2000 and late. I am. But, like, 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 that's the thing that's let's weird. Let's play a little game. That's between you and I. Here's the thing. I know that it's actually for real with you because you never say anyone's cute. Ever. 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 I show you... Everyone. I literally texted her and I was like, oh my god. I literally yeah. showed Kenzie you guys when she goes, cool. I have to like be around them and then it's like their personality and if I like their personality then I think they're hot. Yeah. But, but like, no, they're like charismatic. Like, you yeah, I like know. very charismatic. I don't think that someone's attractive if they're not charismatic. Yeah. Or, no, that's not true. That's not true. But it's a plus. No, it's true. No, yeah, I'm not like, into shy boys that much. That's true. You have dated Chad Boys before. Hey, <laughs> we're gonna film for tour. Let's play it. And then we're gonna shoot uh, one photo and then we're done with our work together for the day. But we do need to get stuff. This is gonna be a very funny video. Have you been like working on some bits for this? Yeah. I have some. Just gonna lines. improv it. I'm just gonna, gonna roast it. Okay. Bye, guys. Bye. Buy tickets to the tour. Buy tickets if you don't. Then, How do you feel like the announcement went today? What? I felt like the announcement was great. I was in the middle of a uh, like a DM fight, mm -hmm. and then I realized that we were announcing, and I blocked them. And you were like, "I don't have time for this." Yeah. I think we should have done a better job of a countdown. I didn't even think about that. But other than that, I think we did a great job. Yeah. There were weird things happening. <gasps> Stop. I mean, like last week though. Um, in, like one week to not yesterday. My God. Stop. Okay, we're gonna go. Bye. Do you not want investors because you just want more control? Like what is the, what's the benefit and the cost? So investors are awesome and one day we will need them, but I want to retain my equity until I don't need them.